that would really be a game changer. How soon are we expecting this and is this even feasible? Well, nobody's really sure yet. CATL just announced these new batteries yesterday, and we're still waiting for a lot of details to come out. In the past 10 years, China has risen up like a phoenix from its ashes in terms of technological development. And this new battery technology that they've secretly been working on is so advanced, it'll basically destroy any competition that stands in China's way. Why are these new batteries so revolutionary? And what kind of an impact will they have on both the industry and the consumer? Join us and get ready for a major tectonic disturbance as we take a look at China's most advanced battery technology that'll dominate the car industry. China has been, at least in the past, considered a laughingstock in the entire industry. They were highly dependent on the West, which has always been more technologically advanced than the Chinese. We've all cracked jokes about the horrible Chinese product quality. The only reason why the West invested in China was because they offered dirt-cheap labor that was highly profitable. However, in the past 10 years, China managed to step up its game, and they're now considered to be among the top 10 most technologically advanced countries in the world. China's prestigious Central South University, which is located in Changsha, gave us graduates that single-handedly drove battery technology forward. The same can be seen in China when it comes to the development of batteries. Changsha is one of the cities that's considered to be the center of the battery industry in China. Batteries made in Changsha were the driving force behind the rise of smartphones and numerous other electronics. Does this sound familiar to you? Well, it should, because the same happened with Stanford University, which molded the careers of numerous Silicon Valley entrepreneurs, some of which pioneered microchips. These batteries were made out of lithium, and they've been utilized virtually everywhere, most prominently in the auto industry. Electric vehicles like Tesla's, hybrids like the Toyota Prius, and even hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Toyota Mirai all utilize lithium ion or Li ion because of their extremely high levels of versatility, practicality, and reliability. Unfortunately, lithium is an extremely rare and therefore expensive element, and the process of extracting lithium is an extremely dirty and polluting business. Did you know that extracting lithium pollutes all running and drinking water that's in the near vicinity of the mine, while also polluting the soil around it? And did you know that lithium is extremely hard to scrap or recycle? Because of these extremely toxic traits that surround lithium mining, the entire industry has been searching for an alternative. Well, China has cracked it, and their new battery type will replace lithium-ion batteries in no time. Why are these new batteries so revolutionary? Well, thousands of chemists, engineers, and workers from Changsha are about to position China into taking command of the biggest innovation in rechargeable batteries in history because they found a way to efficiently and effectively replace lithium with sodium. Sodium is one of the most abundant elements on Earth, making it more widely available and multiple times cheaper than lithium. Sodium, which is also known as natrium, which is where its periodic table nomenclature comes from, is extremely plentiful to humans. And it can be extracted from salt, which consists only of sodium and chloride. And it can, as we all know, be found in the ocean and from salt mines. Sodium is extremely affordable, as it sells for only 1% lithium's ongoing price. From a chemical aspect, sodium and lithium are extremely similar, and sodium batteries have appeared in the past already. However, chemists and engineers had a hard time adapting them to day-to-day -day use, as they either had capacity problems, were extremely inefficient when it comes to charging, or had a short life expectancy, which made them not viable in the long run. Numerous graduates from Changsha's Central South University have been working extremely hard on the further development of sodium battery technology, and a whole heap of them were, thanks to their extremely great results, been employed by companies such as German BASF, which is the world's biggest chemical maker. This university and its graduates are so highly regarded that BASF decided to build one of the world's first factories for sodium battery chemicals only a couple blocks away from the Changsha Chemical Labs. Recent breakthroughs that were made by the Chinese allowed sodium batteries to overcome many of their shortcomings, so we'll now be able to utilize sodium batteries that will be able to recharge daily for years, which means that one of the key pros of using lithium batteries will now be diminished. These batteries will, alongside the prolonged life expectancy, get a significant update when it comes to energy capacity, which can easily rival that of lithium. There are also evident benefits of sodium over lithium in a practical sense, as sodium batteries come with a significant advantage over lithium ones. They keep the majority of their charge during low temperature, 
even far below freezing, which is a feat that lithium batteries simply never could achieve. This essentially means that you'll be able to go on a trip with your Tesla during winter and not only go grocery shopping because your range was slashed to 50 miles because it's cold outside. The Chinese were also thinking of logistics as it was recently revealed that they found a way how to make sodium battery cells so similar to lithium ones that they can even be made with the same exact equipment. Sodium batteries will also remove the need for raw materials such as cobalt, which is for the most part being extracted in Africa. African workers are literally poisoned by these materials. They're being forced to complete exhaustion, and they're being mistreated from day to day, all the while being paid next to nothing for their work. By using sodium, workers in Africa will be allowed to work in much less toxic environments and with less poisonous materials. We're glad that the industry is starting to treat Africans like people and not slaves. And even though their status is far from okay, a step in the right direction is better than no step at all. This is all marvelous. However, the real question still remains. What kind of an impact will sodium batteries have on both the industry and the consumer? Using sodium batteries will change both the industry and the products, and through them, it'll benefit the consumer in every way possible. First of all, because of the fact that the manufacturing of sodium batteries is considerably easier than manufacturing lithium batteries, battery production will be much faster and more convenient. Higher production volume equals a higher amount of batteries produced, which therefore means that more materials will be needed to produce those batteries. This then leads us to the idolation that companies will order materials in larger bulks, lowering the price even further, which, if we take into consideration the already low price of sodium, makes battery production cheaper than ever. Making batteries was always among the biggest expense in the automotive world, and finding a cure for such a big budget leak means that both companies will be able to achieve higher profit margins, while the consumer will pay a considerably lower price. And since sodium is so abundant, we won't need to worry about it depleting. Plus, it's already much easier to recycle or scrap compared to lithium. So this means that we could possibly refurbish sodium batteries in the future indefinitely. Also, as we've already mentioned, sodium is much more weatherproof than lithium, which means that electric vehicles will have a much more prominent utilitarian role than they'd had until now. Thanks to the added practicality and durability combined with the extremely low price of sodium batteries, we're about to experience a true revolution in the entire industry, as EVs are about to become a much more rational choice compared to fossil fuel-powered vehicles. They'll be cheaper to buy, cheaper to maintain, and above all else, almost completely free to run, which will mean that they'll be the best bang for your buck. On a wider scale, using sodium instead of lithium will be much more beneficial to the environment, as we won't need to use extremely heavy acids to extract it, so polluting rivers, lakes, and agricultural lands won't be an issue. Sure, sodium extraction and production still are not 100% clean, but it's way cleaner than lithium, and that alone is enough to make us happy. It's unbelievable how big of an impact the entire car industry and the entire world as a whole can a simple change of a battery material have, isn't it? Such a fascinating butterfly effect that will benefit absolutely everyone once it hits the market. So where are they? Since sodium batteries are so much better than lithium, why haven't we seen any widespread use yet? Well, there are a couple of caveats when it comes to sodium batteries, and the first one is most definitely going to be logistics. Even though sodium offers a lot of benefits, the entire industry has been built around lithium-ion batteries. Lithium might be considerably more expensive to buy and extract, but these costs are just part of the total expense of the whole production process. You see, to fully replace lithium, the entire industry will have to either replace its current production mechanization or at least adapt for sodium battery production. And while there are efforts to make sodium batteries compatible with lithium-ion production methods, there's also a pressing issue of adapting actual products to sodium batteries. The technology used in cars will have to be made from the ground up, which means that those same cars will have to go through additional development stages, so they can either be converted to use sodium batteries or made specifically for them. This further amplifies the production cost of both those cars and the battery themselves, and it makes sodium batteries logistically complex to initially implement. And let's not forget that, even though that they've been significantly updated compared to what they originally were, sodium batteries are still vastly inferior to lithium batteries when it comes to range. Lithium batteries are simply far more developed than sodium batteries, and because of that, they'll most likely remain in primary use for some time. However, this doesn't mean that sodium batteries won't be implemented, it just means they simply won't violently usurp the function that lithium batteries currently have. 
companies will instead opt for a much more natural way of implementing sodium into their products. And that's by combining lithium and sodium batteries into the same battery pack. In fact, the largest electric car battery manufacturer in the world, the Chinese giant CATL, which is short for Contemporary Amperex Technology Limited, has already discovered a way to combine these two batteries into a single car battery pack. And they believe that this will boost the performance of vehicles in the best way possible, as it'll combine the range of lithium batteries with the excellent low temperature performance of sodium batteries. Huang Qisen, the deputy dean of CATL's Research Institute, even stated that the company is ready to industrialize these sodium-lithium hybrid batteries, and they're expecting to start mass producing them very soon. To further amplify how sold CATL is on the idea of sodium batteries, they've already built their first large sodium battery assembly line in Ningda, only a couple of blocks away from the company's headquarters. So, as much as we'd like to see lithium get replaced with sodium at a moment's notice, it's stupid to expect that such a feat will happen. However, a slow, methodical, and elegant phase out of lithium in favor of sodium is not just likely, but expected to happen. And we're thrilled that the whole world will finally move away from lithium to something that's much, much greener. This is truly going to be one of the biggest revolutions in the world of batteries. Speaking of battery revolutions, Tesla is also at the forefront of the battery industry, and they too are about to start using their own incredible battery that shows even more potential than sodium batteries. And if you'd like to learn more about this all-new Tesla battery, be sure to check out this video.